hey, guess what? I'm going to Utah. Now, before I tell you why I'm going to Utah, let me tell you how much I know about Utah. I know in the 80s slash 2000s, my dad and myself were not Utah jazz fans because of John Stockton and Carl Malone. Stockton in a hurry. You gotta remember, I used to live in California. I used to live in Los Angeles, home of the Lakers. Broken up by Worthy. Tip to Magic. Worthy dies on his belly. Magic scores. So the Jazz were never really our friends, especially in the playoffs around that time. My dad was a Laker fan until the day he passed away. I might not still follow basketball as much as I did before, but I don't think I'll ever be a Jazz fan. I know they have some strict alcohol laws. Uh, again, tell us what the problem is here in Utah. Yeah, so so the question is whether certain hard seltzers are eligible to be sold in grocery stores or if they have to be sold in liquor stores. Which is fine with me because I don't drink alcohol anymore. So I really haven't drank alcohol since 2011. So it's been a hot minute, so that's fine. And stuff closes down early because it is very populated Mormon community. I like your Saints hat. Elder Zachary Dustin and Bert Curtis are serving on a mission in Laplace, Louisiana a long way from home in Utah. I'm sure you're asking yourself, why Utah? And how many times has he said Utah by now? So remember that little podcast I do about Dune? Only I will remain. Dune talk? Let's take a look at a clip from the newest episode. By the way, episode 40. Kind of proud of that myself. So let's look at the clip. I have one uh, special announcement. Um, thrilled to reveal that uh, dunewsnet.com will be present at Fanex Salt Lake. Uh, so that's on September 22nd to 24th. Uh, we're going to be hosting uh, two Dune panels at the convention, and we're going to be uh, there at a booth for all three days. Uh, plus, there will be a giveaway. So a lot more details to, to follow. But um, yeah, if you happen to be at that convention, uh, we, uh, we uh, look forward to meet you there. That's right. We were invited to be special guests at Fan X 2022 in Salt Lake City. One of the biggest pop culture events to take place in Salt Lake City, Utah. Don't miss out. Super excited. Um, we're going to have a couple panels. We're going to have a table. We're going to be giving away some cool merch. We're also going to be giving away some uh, Dune Talk stuff. So if you're a fan of the podcast, please stop by. But anyway, this is a big deal because I haven't been to a convention since... 2015. I used to go a lot more, obviously, pre-COVID. I was one of the co-founders and the main video editor for a little comic site that's no longer around, but was around from 2009 to 2015 called ComicImpact.com. We did a lot of interviews. I got to interview a lot of big names in the comic industry. I also got a chance to interview some of my favorite creators. If you want a fun laugh, look at some of my early edits on those videos. This time around, I'm going to Fanex to obviously promote DuneNewsNet.com. That's the main website where Dune Talk is hosted. And it's actually celebrating its two year anniversary. So congratulations, Marcus, and everyone that's worked on that site. When I'm gonna be at Fanex, I'm gonna be shooting a live footage for the Dune Talk YouTube channel, which I'll link down below, and this channel. So this channel will probably have a behind the scenes vlog and the other channel will have kind of a little short of our experience. So I'm I'm super excited. I Like I said, I've never been to Utah. It's gonna be fun. Thank you everyone that uh, reached out to me after they saw the last video. My health is doing really well. I feel good. Spice coffee. So um, honestly, if you're a fan X, stop by, say hi. I can't wait to hang out with the rest of my Dune Talk buddies. Uh, it's gonna be fun. So I'll link everything uh, where you can subscribe, like, comment. Also, please do that on this video. I hate being that YouTuber being like, please like, subscribe, thumbs up guys, awesome. I never liked Carl Malone, even when he was a Laker. Still not coming out. Underneath, Malone finally scores. The mailman just didn't deliver for me.